Santiago. Si, senorita. Did you get your shot? Si. Good. Sampling of blood taken from these primitive people whose main diet is seafood, fish, provides evidence that chemical changes produced by underwater detonations of atomic materials have been carried by tides and currents to all parts of the world. Here is what we learned from this morning's blood sample, Dr. Torres. God, it's worse than I expected. The contamination level? It keeps rising. Damn it, we cannot ask these people to change their diet. There's no chance of error, Ralph. I check it again. Another month here isn't going to change our findings. Already these people have absorbed over a hundred times a safe amount of radioactive contamination. Their main diet is out of the sea. So what do you expect? It's a small world, isn't it? Well, we might as well tell Carlos we'll pack up and go back to Vallejo in the morning. I'll prepare a full report for the government. You may not want to leave just yet, Rick. What have you got there, Mort? That sample of water you wanted from the mouth of the river. And more. A lot more. What would you say if I said I had the devil in that canister? Well, I would say that Mort Stein has got a cockeyed sense of humor. Well, those local villagers aren't the only fishermen around here. See what I got. If he's got a brain behind his eyes. Yeah, well, they say the octopus is supposed to be the most intelligent species in the, in the ocean. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Huh? Never. It must be a hybrid of some sort. It's even a mutation. Let's go back to where you found it, Mort. I said you wouldn't want to leave these parts just yet, didn't I, Rick? 